Good morning, and thank you for joining me on another episode where I take a book and from that book I find a bar. Now a bar is a short, valuable nugget of information for us to feed our minds. This is Breakfast Bars! Breakfast Bars! Breakfast Bars! This is Breakfast Bars! All right, welcome back to another episode of Breakfast Bars. Today's book is one of my favorite books, The 50th Law by Robert Greene. Not only is this a great written book and offers two great perspectives on things, Robert Greene, who is an author, and 50 Cent, who is a rapper and business person. Definitely very different types of people. So it's so cool they're able to collab on this and provide two different perspectives, two different lenses to view things. And man, I mean, I'm a big 50 Cent fan ever since I was younger. And to hear his stories, the way he thinks, is invaluable. Um, He just has so much great knowledge so much so much information because he's been through so much that he I appreciate that he shared it um, because I like the way he moves I like the way he operates I like the ways he thinks and gets stuff done and then you collab with a guy like Robert Greene who is one of the best authors out there on personal growth and development and history and just clear focused and understanding on different topics it's great. Oh, I was going to say, it's also a really good looking book. We got a little gold, gold pages. It's fire. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what we find. True opportunists do not require urgent, stressful circumstances to become alert and inventive. They operate this way on a daily basis. So an opportunist is someone who sees an opportunity, better yet makes an opportunity, and recognizes that. But a lot of the times you kind of got to get kicked in the butt from an urgent stressful situation to utilize that opportunity. Um, I mean, one, if you are someone that, you know, faces a challenging situation, something happens, something goes wrong, and you flip it and how is this an opportunity? Well, then that is a great mindset to have. And I can definitely say continue to do that or get to that point if you can, because everything is an opportunity. You must learn how to convert obstacles into opportunities. Um, but then take it one step further, operate that way on a daily basis. Think ahead. Don't wait and be reactive to that situation to try to think of an opportunity. Think ahead. Think about how you can create your own opportunity. I mentioned in the previous, um, episode how some people call me YNKCP for you never know. Well, I'm kind of transitioning into a a different name I like to call myself, Coop. So my name's Cooper, just Coop, but C.O.O.P. And that is an acronym for Cultivate Original Opportunities, which means make shit happen. Make stuff happen for yourself. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Don't expect things to be handed to you. No, make that shit happen. Be an opportunist. Cultivate opportunity and original opportunities. Not only does it feel good, but it truly can help move yourself forward. Develop, get to where you want to be, develop things that you want to develop for yourself, for your life, for business, family, whatever it is. Create original opportunities. Coop. 
And that's kind of what they're getting at here in this bar. So again, the bar today is true opportunists do not require urgent, stressful circumstances to become alert and inventive. They operate this way on a daily basis. Look around you. Think about opportun what opportunities are out there and also what opportunities you can create for yourself. Thank you again for tuning in to another episode. Just a reminder, you can find Breakfast Bars on iTunes, YouTube, and Instagram by searching Breakfast Bars. On Instagram, it's at breakfast.bars. Would mean a lot to me if you left me a review, subscribed, follow, and of course, if you find value in Breakfast Bars, if you like hearing them daily, go ahead and please share it with a friend, someone you know that wants to receive some daily bars.